are back. This is Computer Says No, and uh, it's the sixth episode in the series on stack-based buffer overflow uh, exploit development. Yeah, so I think I may have got um, a little bit overzealous and jumped the gun. Well, it's at least as far as my usual process, I would have tested for bad characters already, and I forgot to do that in the previous video before racing ahead and popping a shell. Um, but that's all good. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test for bad characters. So if you look at our script, I've got this variable bad cars and all of these hex values. If you Google uh, bad character exploit development Python or something, you will find these values. So copy and paste them, put them in your script, and you want to send them in in place of your C's. Um, yeah, if you do it in that order or you know where, where your calc was, if you popped calc already. Um, definitely want to do it because there is a bad character or two we want to we want to get rid of when we make our interpreter shell code. So we'll send these in. We'll see how it looks when it crashes the program that's running. Clear that, and we've got a crash. So what you want to do is go to ESP. ESP is pointing to a place in memory where those bad characters exists uh, exist. So we'll say following dump. And over here in the dump in the bottom left window, we'll see 01, 02, 03, and so forth. What you want to do when you're uh, matching these values to see uh, if there's a bad one is basically you want them to uh, continue on sequentially without being broken up by any other characters. And as you can see here, we get one to eight, fine. Then we go nine, and from nine, we have 21, 21, 21, OA and all these A's and the whole flow is disrupted. Basically, we should see what's written in the script reflected in the dump. Um, so it should count from, you know, 0, 1 to FF without any of, this, any of this junk. That indicates we have a bad character and it's usually the character that's meant to be there after, if, if everything is in order. And then in this case, we don't have uh, OA after nine. That indicates to me OA is, is the culprit. So the first character that isn't in sequence um, that's meant to be there is the offending character. I'll prove that by going back here and removing OA from our bad characters and we just retest. So this is an iterative process. Um, there shouldn't be any more bad characters um, in our case with this binary. Um, but if you did continue to get um, a disrupted sort of dump there uh, in that hex dump, you just keep going over it. You keep looking and you keep removing um, the bad characters and eventually you'll know. So, I mean, you know, I've seen, I have, I've had to do it, you know, with as many as half a dozen, six to eight, you know, bad characters um, in one exploit. So we'll run that Python script again. And we've got a crash, go to ESP, follow that in the dump. And uh, yeah, at a glance, you can really, you can see it stands out. Uh, it really stands out when it is corrupted and you are missing, uh, you do have bad characters, but just looking at it here, you know, everything looks good. We've got one to eight, you know, nine to 11, uh, 12 to 12. You just follow your eye down the edge like this, 21, you know, 31, 41, 81, da, 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 da. you can see the patterns repeating. Um, there isn't like repeated, uh, you know, 41s or or just weird junk data. I mean, FF, I see, 97, 98, you know, it all looks to be repeating um, and looks pretty clean. So I wouldn't bother testing for any more. I mean, I, I know we can get away with it anyway uh, with, the, with the characters that I have listed, but yeah, that looks good to me. It should be pretty obvious uh, and it look pretty disrupted if there is a bad character, guys. You'll know about it for sure. Um, okay, so that's about it. We're approaching the five minute mark. I really just wanted to show you the bad character uh, process. So be sure to note those down. We can get rid of that now. Um, so the null character wasn't in there because uh, that's always bad. Uh, that's always bad news, so you don't even bother testing for that. So when we do um, create our shell code, our reverse shell code in MSF Venom, we're just going to explicitly tell um, MSF Venom that we don't want a null byte and we don't want this um, X0A either. Um, so that'll be it. 
it'll be fun. Join me in uh, a Cali VM next up, and we'll create this reverse shell code and um, see if we can't pop a shell over the wire, guys. I'll see you in that one.